should take my happiness away. I knew there was something wrong somewhere. Those dreams were not for nothing. The first day I saw that man, my spirit told me he was trouble. I looked into his eyes and I saw a harem of girls following him and him following another league of girls. <laughs> he was too nice. Too good, too smooth to be true. <laughs> now the wind has blown and we have seen it all. How can a sane man who wants to marry a woman visit her family, did the traditional rites, even fix the date of his wedding? Only to go behind and start sleeping with his wife's friends. And even pregnanted one. Is that not madness? An abomination. Hi. But my daughter said she loved him. What sort of stupid love? Oh, Sophia. So much work has made my daughter so naive and weak. Thank God everything is exposed early enough. My daughter would have fallen deep into a shit hole of marriage. Hey, Cordelia. What is it, Jay? Hi. Oh, what do I tell my friends? All the preparations, invitation cards shared, as should I be, etc., etc. Hi, what do I tell them? That my son in law turned out to be a useless he goat, embarrassing himself around the neighborhood. Hi. Cordelia, this is not the life you planned for your daughter. No. Oh God of Isaac, Abraham and Jacob, where have I gone wrong? Okay. 
Mom, you didn't do anything wrong. And nothing has changed yet. The wedding is still going to take place. What? You heard me right. I am going to marry Fred come next Saturday. No! You won't marry him. Unless you want to kill me and also kill yourself. This boy has no good plans for you, Sophia. He just wants your money so he can maintain the harem of his girls. So what do you want me to do? What? I can't go back now, can I? I am going to marry that man. Someone is pregnant for him. So what? She's already out the picture. She has left town and never to return. Oh God, help me. Help me, I don't know my daughter anymore. Mom, can't you see that they're all envious? They're all a bunch of jealous friends. They went after Fred. <laughs> but he chose me. I am going to stand by that man. Stand by a woman, Isa. A Casanova? What do you want me to do? What? Go after another man? Whom I don't know if he's worse than Fred? Besides the girl's distraction, Fred is the perfect man for me. He has a beautiful soul. And I love him. Oh my God. God help me. I knew it would not end well. Tell this animal to produce my daughter else! Madam, 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 it's okay. It's okay. We will get to the root of this. Please kindly wait at the reception. Mr. Womanizer, you need to get your lawyer because this, this is a murder investigation. Offense inspector. No, this is a homicide case. Your client is the prime suspect. He had the motive. And, and, and what's that? A pregnant woman elsewhere. He needs to be with her. Oh, come on, inspector. This is just. This is a hearsay. Where is the woman? That is what the investigation will uncover. And that is why bail must be denied. No, 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 no inspector. You see, look, for a case to be qualified as a murder case, the evidence has to be explicit without the body of a supposed victim. This is just a, a missing case. You can't just come up from nowhere and call it a mother case. Look, you should be thinking of who else wants to harm the wife, not pinning it on my client who is just a victim here. So I put it to you that this is a case of a missing person. 
until there's an evidence proving contrary. You know the law. We should be discussing this. We shall see to that. Then I'll be waiting. You know, somehow I still feel very funny about what happened and... I don't know, I just feel guilty every time I'm around you still. <laughs> and I just want to take this time to say that... I'm sorry. Okay? I'm really sorry. It's okay. And I have told you to stop apologizing since that day. I already forgive you. And my friends. So can we just let go and focus on our wedding, please? You know you have the heart of an angel, right? Oh, you can say that again. I know. <laughs> and I just love you. Yes, babe. And I love you more. You have been released. Oh. Really? You can go home. For now, though. Okay. Kanto, I hope you know that this man must not live down. Oh, oh, but yeah. She sure. has to make himself available for question and investigation. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Every time you need him, just call and I'll make him available. Good. Officer, one of the handcuffs. I'll send one of my officers to come get it. Alright. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have a count. Thank you so much. It's okay. It's okay. Look, for now, you'll be staying at my place. Why? What are you talking about? What about my clothes? What about my shoes? How about my car? Huh? Fred. Yes. Look, you will stay at my place. Your house has been sealed off by the police. It's a crime scene. Look, you can't go there now until the police say so. Honestly, I, I didn't hear. It was Bimbo who called me this morning and narrated the whole saga to me. I, I was absolutely speechless. You don't know how I feel, man. You, you don't have the slightest idea. I, my head is filled with random thoughts. Where could my wife be? You know? Who would want to hurt Sophia? Who? who? Well, you see, I, if not for the blood stains, I would have said them. Um, she walked out on you. Nah. Sophia. Nah. She wanted to be married. She was ex excited about the, the, the marriage, just, just like I am, you know. She wanted to be, to be married. No, she, she wouldn't have left me. All right. So, um, what, what of this lady, Clara and um, Ada? Have you heard from them? No, I haven't. Why? Because um, this whole scenario seems to me like... Um, a woman's retaliation. You could be right. I mean, given the fact that these two women at one point threatened me at, at the same time, you could be right. But look, Steve, um, no. Nah, I, I don't want to get them involved in this. <laughs> and, and why? Look, these are women, Steve. These are women, all right? You, you bring them into the picture, you know, they begin to dig up old calls, and then they complicate matters for me now. I just want to concentrate on finding my wife. I understand you're trying to run away from a nemesis. I do. Just leave everything to me and Manuel. We'll sort things out. If you insist, but I still think that these two women are uh, incapable of doing what you're, what you're insinuating, man. I don't think so. What? Like, hey, you should never underestimate the power of any woman, no matter how small you think she is. Never.
So um, can I have their numbers? Yeah, I'll, I'll, it's okay. I'll give it to you. Once we get in, I'll, I'll give it to you. It's not a problem. Steve. Hey. Hello, Manuel. Sorry, thing, Manuel. I never heard of anything that happened. I needed to give them time, thinking they were enjoying their honeymoon. And uh, all this happened. My brother, you know, this is life. You can expect anything at any time. Yeah, thank God you will stay around. I am doing my best for him not to be indicted. Yeah, that's true. I love the spirit. <laughs> Bro, I just calm down. Everything will be under control. Just leave everything to me and Manuel. I just leave everything to us. I both of us can be here now. What you think? It's not possible. Yeah. No. You are a blackmailer. You threatened to expose your relationship with Fred of Sophia. But when Fred called your bluff, you killed Sophia. Drop us! No, they didn't do anything. <laughs> they did not. Just tell us who you planned this evil act with. I did not plan anything with anybody. I swear I did not. kind of problem black mailers get themselves involved in. Sergeant. Hello, Mr. My problem is this girl. My daughter. Sure. What happened, sir? I keep asking myself, what kind of brain is inside the head of this my daughter? That she will reject all the men that are trooping in and out of my house every day. This one will come and go. This one will come and go. Uh -huh. She will reject all of them. And you're running around a married man. A killer married man. Eh? Ask her. <laughs> Since that man killed his wife, has he married her? Answer me. Daddy, did you come here to bail me or to embarrass me? Which one have you come to do? What, 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 what's the meaning of this now? Are you, are you listening to her? So telling you the truth now is embarrassment. That's what your mother taught you, eh? Telling you the truth is embarrassment. My brother, this is what I have suffered. Like mother, like daughter. Daddy, if you have come here to wash your family's dirty clothes in public, that is fine. But do not implicate my mother. Just leave her out of it because at the end of the day, you failed, you failed. Point blank, period. Did you hear that? Hi. My daughter is calling me a failure. Okay, now you see the seafood out. Which one do you miss? Look at this man, no. You call me this man! What's wrong with this man? Call me this man! Come and touch me! Come and touch me! No, 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 shut up your mouth there! I don't have dating manners. Come! You don't say you don't say your papa get a uh, hot temper. Wait, wait, first of all, all those your useless drunk friends, are they the ones you're calling suitors? They are the ones you want me to marry, Abby? Come on! Did it? Mm. You can see my life. Child. It's like mother, like daughter. Child. Whatever you see in this girl, that is the mother for you. Mm -mm. That woman devastated my life. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was doing well in the civil service. I'm a qualified engineer. Huh? Yes! Grade level 12. Yeah. Family crisis forced me to retire. Child. Ignore me not. Mm -hmm. No retirement, benefit, no pension, hmm? nothing. Just like that. Look at me. <laughs> hey! Everything you see me put on now and trying to manage my life is things I have. I did them before. You are not ashamed of yourself. Which one food you miss? You have not seen anything. They don't give me food. Eh? I cook my own food. Thank you. Ask her. Chai. Ask her. Lady, in the kitchen. Oh. You, don't, you have not seen suffering. Mm. So you are defending your mother, eh? You came here to defend your mother. Okay, go and beg. Okay, go and call your mother to, to, to bail you. Hey, okay. Let's say that you want her mother to bail her. You never reach like that. You never reach like that. No thanks for waiting. Did I call you? Answer me, did I call you? 
go I beg. Okay, give me my phone. Let me call somebody. Come, 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 come. Enough, enough. If you talk to him now, I'll take you back to that cell. Why do they worry you? You have not seen anything, though. No, probably you have. Make me call him. You have not seen anything, though. Now you dare the white man. Who can move, please? Let me call somebody else. Come and bring me. Ah, who voice now? Ah, who voice now? All these Yahoo boys, all of them, Yahoo, 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 everywhere in my house. Yahoo, 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 Yahoo. Look at her. So, tell the girl Yahoo has called. Come on. What is it? Her mates are getting married. And she's just never Yahoo boys. And now she's insulting me. It's okay. We will see in the house. Your papa don't go. We will see in the house. Okay, back for her, then go. Your papa don't go. Give me, give me my phone. I don't know. Oh, please, you can't talk to me. I don't know. 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 I need you now, not myself. Yeah, the police are still on it. That one, that Fred, he said he doesn't know anything about it. That he doesn't know her whereabouts. But I know he's lying. I know Fred has a hand in this. Oh, and this is the time I need you most. I just wish you were here. I'm losing it. I'm losing it, Mike. How can I calm down? How can I calm down? I don't know where your sister is. You're telling me to calm down. You're not. You aren't you worried there? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll I'll take my drugs. Okay, but when I when will you be through with your training? I need you here. Your mom can't do this alone. Mike, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Please. Okay. All right. No problem. Ah, uh, you know, it's still not clear to me how. The police got to the scene at that time. And you said you didn't make any call. And you didn't hear anyone scream. No, I... I did not. You said you were singing? Oh yes, I was singing. So were you singing that loud that you could not hear anyone scream? Uh, Steve, I... I wouldn't know. You know, it's... It's all so confusing now. What's up? What are you thinking? Nothing really. I, I'm very sure something is not sitting right. But I'm sure we'll crack this puzzle. If we get to know exactly how the police got to the scene at that time. Oh yeah, well, makes a lot of sense to me. I, I think so too. So, um, this cabin of a guy. Have you met him before now? No, I... I hadn't seen him before. That was the first time I was, was seeing him. It's okay. I'm sure the nickel will drop soon. Excuse me. What up? I, I want to see the person in charge of the case of that woman they killed after her wedding. Oh, you mean the woman that got missing a night after her wedding? Missing? Not be missing. They killed her. Missing care. In fact, I want to see the person in charge. Who is in charge of the case? Okay, that should be um, Inspector Kevin. But he went out to... Well, I don't know. But I have an important information to give. About the woman or the man? The woman they killed. They killed. Okay, oh. sit down for charge room. Wait on uh, Kevin okay. in the car. Okay, I hope the Kevin is coming back because the information is very, very important. Too. Sit down for charge room. Are they seats? Uh, Madam, say your name is. My name is Jane, and I used to be Sophia's friend in Egweda. Few days to her wedding, we met, and she told me a whole lot of things. You know, as a Christian that I am. Way good Christian. When I heard what happened to her, I decided to come and tell the police what I know. It's okay, madam. At this stage, every information is important. Okay, so just go ahead and tell us. Well, she told me her husband was cheating on her with her friends. 
He even stole her money. And when she complained, he would beat her blue, black and red like a punching bag. Hold on. You mean the husband beats her blue, black and red? Exactly. Yes. And when I asked her why she's still going into the marriage, she said uh, uh, that she had no choice. But the way she even said it, that uh, uh, she loved him desperately, that uh, she hated the way she loved him. Okay, uh, do you know this man? I mean, the husband. Yes, I know him very well. One tall, fair, handsome young man. Then looking at him, he appears gentle. You even think he's an angel, but inside of him, he's a devil. But, madam, we are not here to judge characters, okay? So just state the facts, then we'll make our judgment, okay? Well, I've said it all, but she told me you plan to kill her. What? Yes. C can you say this again? Like, repeat what you, what you said. Just repeat it again. She told me he planned to kill her. How? <sighs> because he impregnated one of her friends. And I actually wanted to marry her. I'm sure by now she will be waiting for him somewhere, now that my friend is gone. Madam, can you say these things in his presence? Of course! Any day, any time, just for the sake of the wife. Oh, such a nice and wonderful woman. Mm. Well, thank you, um, Madam Jane, for this wonderful information. Thank you. Okay, with people like you, I mean, this country will be a great and um, a crime-free country. Right, so just wait for us outside. I'll come and get your statement. Thank you. You heard it all. You heard it from a good citizen of this great country. So now that the jigsaw puzzle is solved, I want you to come with Fred to the station for fresh questioning and clarification of this testimony. Don't tell me you believe that crap! I i am the investigating officer in charge of this case, not you. So bring your client to the station. I maintain that this testimony is false! This is our best lead until proven otherwise, okay? Inspector, this is trash until it's proven true! Counsel, bring Fred your clients to the station, or I will order for his rearrest. Am I making myself clear? What is going on? What is going on? What is happening to me, God? Whatever sin I must have committed, Lord, please forgive me. Ah, save me from this torture. What is happening? Ah. Something, something is seriously wrong somewhere. Where could she be? Lord, please let nothing happen to my wife if, if she's kidnapped. If she's kidnapped, the, the kidnappers would have called by now. What, what is going on? Huh? What is happening? God, please help me. Help me find my wife. Who's this? You don't know me. I know you. But I know you. And I know where you can find your missing wife. What? You know where I can find my wife? Yes.
Fred proposed to me with the most beautiful engagement ring in the whole world. He knelt and said, Sophia, will you marry me? And I said, yes. Thank you, Lord. I am sad and heartbroken. Today being the 15th day of July is my worst day. I found out my best friend was pregnant for my fiancé and my two other best friends had been sleeping with him behind my back. And my wedding is just weeks away. God, let me wake up from this dream. My best friend, Ajiro, leaves town today, 30th of July, so that our secret can be safe. Hello? Hey, you! I, I, I see nothing here. These are just dates. Nothing. Where's my wife? Where is she? Auto number 5, Newman Street, of Housing Estate. You will get the answer you need right now. <laughs> Hello? Hello? This case seems like a dead end. Let's not give up yet, okay? Inspector Lida is very right. I mean, can't you see it? Uh, we have to be optimistic, okay? We have to keep doing our best. Like we've been sleeping all day. Listen, Linda, listen. I know you both are exhausted. I am too, okay? But what if this woman is alive somewhere? Think! Hmm. But why haven't the kidnappers called yet? Yes, why? Exactly. Okay. What if the kidnappers want to punish the man or the woman? I mean, from all of gathered so far, this man is a chronic womanizer. Okay? So when I say something. Sorry. Yeah, hello? Okay. Where? All right, just hold on. We'll be there. Thank you. We have an emergency. Okay. The woman that is fired against Fred. Yes. The heat is on. By now he would be answering police questions. He needs to learn a lesson or two about being responsible and being with one woman. Yes. Oh, I've worked so hard for myself and I deserve the best. I do. 
I deserve a peaceful marriage where my husband will adore and respect me. Not one to share with every girl or every concubines out there in town. I trust Kelvin will do the job. <laughs> Wait, but I hope he won't hurt him more. No, 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 he won't. We had an agreement and I paid him well. In a few days, it will all be over. I will come out released by some fake kidnappers. Hmm. Fred will be overjoyed to see me back. I will give him conditions to stay in the marriage. Yes, I will. I will keep reminding him of this to keep him in check. Whew, I cannot believe I pulled this off. It's better than fighting and breaking somebody's head, isn't it? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my mom. Poor sweet mother of mine. She must be having more dreams and nightmares by now. What's going on? Shh. Just cooperate with me, okay? Only listen. I am in charge here now. Okay? So just cooperate with me, alright? What? What are you talking about? Listen, just cooperate with me, okay? And I will help you do something. Alright? What do you want to do for me? Reveal the plan to you. Okay, just. Plan. What plan are you talking about? Listen. Okay, fine. If you want to know, it's the next move of my man. Okay? Are you confused here? 
I said, just relax, okay? Just cooperate with me and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> what? Okay, tell me the plan first. when we're done. But from now, just cooperate with me, okay? And I'll tell you everything you need to know, okay? Tell me the plan first! Tell me the plan first! Why are you trying to be hard? Come with me! You pushed me? Come here! Come here! What's going on? What have you done? I should be asking you that question. What have you done? You sent this animal to come and rape me. Rape you? No. I. I only wanted him to help us. Help us what? And why did you change our plan? Listen, baby. I didn't change our plans, okay? Unforeseen things are happening, and I'm just adjusting to it. No, you listen. I only contracted you just to shake my husband up a little, so that he would stay away from those his sexual escapades, and so that I can have a good marriage. I only wanted you to make it seem like I was kidnapped by someone out there. That's the reason why we made that fake video in the first place. But no, look at what you're doing now. You're changing our plan. <laughs> Um, Sophia, baby. You know you're a very funny girl. So you think I am going to waste my time, my talent, to work for another man to live with you happily ever after? While I live without you sorrowfully ever after? I mean, that, that's not possible. I am supposed to be your first love here. But what did you do? You turned me down! What? You never gave me the chance to prove to you how much I love you! Now the chance fell on my laps. You want me to throw it away? Never! I won't! What are you talking about? Now listen, baby. Fred is going in for life imprisonment or death sentence for the murder of Jane. What? Wait. Who's Jane? Never mind. She's just a soccer. Now listen, baby. May 
have all the evidence wrapped up. And after that, we're going to court. And after court, you and I will live happily ever after. You're a psycho, Kelvin. You are crazy. Baby. Remember I was the Capone back then in school. I am still that bad guy you used to know. Don't joke with me. Oh my goodness. So you mean you are out to destroy my marriage? You're not Kevin! You just wanted to get married to no. him! No! I need a punishment for the pain it cost you! No! No, I do! It's a lie! I love my husband! I love my husband! No! It is me that you must love now! No! I can never love you, Kelvin. I can't love you. You disgust me. You? You dare see that to my face? You dare say that to my face, Sophia! I am not afraid of you, Kelvin. How can you be so treacherous? Baby, listen. I am the IPO of this case. And I can twist it to the direction that I want. Okay? You can be the accomplice to the mother of Jane. Get that into your head. Okay? Get that into your head. No. You don't know what you're saying. I recorded our discussion from the beginning. Yes, I did. You, you what? Uh, Baby. She recorded our discussions. Yes, I did. Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. In that case, you will remain missing. Goodbye, love. What are you doing? It's alright, it's alright. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. Are you okay? Are you alright? What happened? Huh? It's a long story, but thank God it's all over. Okay, fine. I, I want to know what, I, what I, this is what happened. Where did you find her? Huh? Your wife was kidnapped. What? Kidnapped? Huh? Hey, what, what, what? Are you okay? Are you sure? It's okay. It's okay. okay. Let's, you know what? Let's just go in. Is the water hot yet? Oh well, yeah. Waiting for you, baby. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you scrub those tubba dubba hubba hubba. <laughs> Are you okay?
then on, I didn't see Kelvin again until that last night. I was confused. I didn't know what to do, Mom. I didn't. And all I could do was just pray. I waited and I, I knew something had gone wrong with our initial plan. And uh, who was Kelvin to you, if I may ask? Kelvin. Kelvin was just my classmate. He was a notorious cult guy from the university. I ran into him some time ago and we exchanged numbers and when this idea came to my mind, I contacted him. That was it. Nothing more. Nothing more, please, I'm sorry. Fred, you know I love you and I would never do anything to hurt you. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this. I'm sorry. Please. You know you're wicked? Do you know you're wicked? Don't say that. How could you? How could you make me go through all that? I love you. And you deal here, you shut up! And you deal here and tell me that you love me? You love me? Love me how? I'm sorry. Well, I go through all of this and then you and I are supposed to live under the same roof as man and wife. How? I'm sorry. <laughs> It's not possible. I wasn't supposed to be like this. Mom, I wasn't supposed to be like this. Please, Mom. I was still trying to recover from his madness. And you started your Sophia. What if that killed you? No. You didn't even think of me and your brother? Who even told you that's a way to change a man? Who told you that? The Mom. both of you are just two mad people. Mom, please, I'm begging you. Settle your case by yourself. Mom, beg him for me. Mom, please. Man, please, I'm sorry. Please. Please, I'm sorry. You didn't mean to do that. It wasn't supposed to turn out like 